Okay, so this episode, we're going to talk about mechanisms and what's a mechanism and how a mechanism can help your Shopify store. And actually, the concept of mechanism can actually boost your confidence in your store. So what is a mechanism? What do I mean by mechanism? A mechanism is pretty much, it's what makes your store different than other stores. It's not necessarily what makes it different. Like, what what makes other people go to your store before they go to another person's store? So when you think mechanism, think of like a a, a knob, right? Or like a, a nut, like a bolt or a nut bolt, and you're twisting that nut bolt to your side. So anything in your store that you can twist to your side that gives you the advantage of another store that's what you need to leverage and take away what makes you similar in a different aspect. I'm going to make an example. So let's let's go back to the ping pong tables, right? I like to do ping pong tables. So let's just say you want to sell tables, right? You say, okay, I can't sell tables. Too many people sell tables. So I'm going to make a ping pong table. That's one mechanism right there. So that one mechanism of a ping pong table puts you over other tables through Google, through uh, pricing through concept of how they're going to use the table. So you see, they're going to use the table outside or they're going to, you got people who sell per ping pong tournaments. So you're, you're, you're leveraging the mechanism based on how the person, how the person is going to shop. So when you create your mechanism, you should be thinking of the intent of the shopper. You see, so, you have ping pong table, right? Now, what type of ping pong table? What's going to be your pricing? How can you price either premium or medium or small, right? And how, how if you went smaller on price, could you be different? So let's just say you went smaller on price, but you said, I'm going to do multicolored ping pong tables. Red ping pong tables, yellow ping pong tables, green ping pong tables, rainbow ping pong tables, white ping pong tables, black ping pong tables, checkerboard ping pong tables, striped ping pong table, red striped ping pong tables. You see? So now you have a mechanism of your store over other stores based on the design of the ping pong table. That's two mechanisms. So now you're going to price cheaper because your leverage is you're leveraging the price and you're leveraging the color because the color can be changed. Based, is how easily can you change that color? Can you get a red red easily or is it hard to get that? So if it's harder to get it and you get it, then you price higher. Because they're thinking, oh, wow, I get this different look. So you're pricing higher if you can. But if you price the same, then it's like, oh, yeah, you're leveraging. Your mechanism is just that color, you see? But let's say they sell ping pong tables for 500 and you sell ping pong tables for 500 but yours are colorful. But theirs are glass, right? So the ball bounces better, but they break easily because it's glass, right? So you win the safe factor. You win that safe factor, but you you say, I'm going to keep it the same price because I see there, you see? But if you go cheaper, but you got multicolored, now you might sell more because you're you're getting that, that aspect of the search intent, meaning they're searching red ping pong table. They're searching blue ping pong table. So now you're really dominating over the guy with the glass ping pong table because they're ranking for glass and you're ranking for red, blue. And now you have a whole store which dominates. So you might, so somebody else might be selling a red ping pong table, but they only sell, they only have one different color. So they all of their ping pong tables are green, but they only have one red. But your store has red, blue, yellow, and that's your branding, you see? So now that's your mechanism. So now you might sell four or five a yellow, red, or blue because 
they only have red. So they're like, oh, I'm going to buy the red from them because they have blue, yellow. They have all the colors, you see? So that was a mechanism. Remember the twist. So now you've twisted them to your store through the colorway and the pricing because you might have went cheaper. You're like, oh, it's cheaper too. So let me go to them. You see what I'm saying? So now you pull them that way. You, you see what I'm saying? Now let's talk about how the mechanism can be twi- switched to your competitor. So they're glass, right? So they're thinking, oh, they're glass. It looks more premium. It's a thousand bucks, but there's a 200. So now they might be thinking, oh, it's cheaper, but it's a different color. So maybe it'll be less cheaper. Let me go to the glass because they're more high luxury and I have a high status. So now they move to them. You see? But that's not what you're... That doesn't mean that you need to jump into luxury now because they switch to them. You stay where you're at because that's where you're, mo- you're, you're maneuvering left. So you can keep going left and dominate left. Right? You're going more blue. So... That leverage is how you can keep going blue instead of going red. When I mean blue and red, I mean the ocean aspect, right? So you're going where there's more fish for you and there's less fishermen, right? So you get more customers, customers being fish in your ocean. But there's more people selling ping pong tables. So they're in a red ocean. They're fishing for customers that they're all trying to get the same customer. But you're steady adding you're still adding red and purple uh, ping pong table. You're adding yellow and red ping pong table. One side yellow, one side red. The other side, then you you come out with another one. One is blue and green. So you're steady shifting to your own your own mechanism. Nobody's doing that, and you're keep you're keep you keep going that way. So they're going more luxury, and you're going more color. So now you're the only you're still establishing dominance. So you're 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 even you're turning the mechanism even more your way. You see what I'm saying? So you're establishing longevity. That's why we talk about that power of 30 percent. So if you if you if you if you're making 30 percent of your ad spend, but your store is still. Moving to, in its own direction, meaning it's more different than the other stores. Now you're still ranking on Google. Now you got yellow, red ping pong table you're ranking for. So you're still going upwards. You see what I'm saying? So now your ad spend is going to be 50%. Now it's going to be 100% more because now you have more products. Now you have, you see what I'm saying? But that 30% was this is just how you started. Now you're at 100% and your store is increasing over time. That's why I say the power of 30% is very powerful. If you see it on a broad aspect, if you don't see it like, oh, I didn't make money on that in two or three days. You see what I'm saying? You didn't think of a you didn't think of it as a store aspect. You thought of it as, oh, I'm playing blackjack at Vegas. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. We're building an asset, right? So back to mechanism. Let's think of a different uh mechanism. Even your store design is a mechanism. Your store design is a mechanism, but it should be leveraged based on competitors. But that's why I'm saying pricing is one of the biggest mechanisms. But branding as well is the mechanism. Branding is probably the biggest mechanism. But you see, there are steps to branding. We talk about red and the colorways of your store is a branding aspect through the keywording. I, I like... When you think branding, I would think keywording because if you're branding through keywording, then you're you're optimizing for Google as well at the same time. So your your imagery will match your keywording. You see what I'm saying? So if your images match your keywording, then boom, you'll you'll rank over time. You'll be you'll be good because the imagery can sell the 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 keyword is the intent behind it because there's so many images online. How can you, like, you, you shouldn't focus too much on imagery at first glance. The imagery should be what sells it, but the title should be what brings them in, right? Which which With the search intent. So, we're talking about uh, 
So we're talking about mechanisms, right? So mechanism could be the page design. Make sure your design is good. How can, how can, why would, people, they're going to look at, oh, this works, this works. I like how their shopping experience is better. Their experience is better than this store. So I'm going to go here. That's the mechanism. You have to give them that mechanism of experience and you have to, you have to clinch the, you have to clinch the sale with the experience. You see what I'm saying? So you might have a period somewhere that's at the wrong place. The price, it might be, it might not be, it might confuse people. Like your numbers might confuse people. They can't add the number up in their head while they're shopping. But with them, with the other company, it's like, oh, they're, they're pricing uh, 500 and 500 and this one's 1,000. So now they just, okay, I'll just, I'll just spend 2,000. Boom. But your pricing is, so oh, I use the three and I use the eight and I use the seven. Now you just confused them. You see? You want, you want them to put that, the, you want them to shop in their brain before they're adding to carts. That way the cart is just a verification. It's not a, it's not really a calculation. It's a verification, not a calculation. You see what I'm saying? Even though it's calculation, but it's confirmation through calculation. So that's why, that's a mechanism. Experience, mechanism through experience. This, this is kind of advanced level psychology, but if you can get it, you get it. You get it. So definitely pricing. Pricing is big mechanism. You have to think problem. What are what are what are what are the customer thinking when they when they're looking, when they're searching? And you solve that problem with what you're going to present through the search. That's 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 it. So you're solving the problem through the in what they're searching for you're giving them what they're searching for but you're solving a problem maybe that they don't even know they have through the copywriting that's the power of copywriting so we give you all of that we give you the writer so so for instance free shipping or like we talked about new easy safe big you give them new you give them easy you give them safe and you give them big that's what you do you know, like we talk about multicolored ping pong, easy. Uh, you know, it's easy to hook up. It's easy to travel with it. It's foldable. You can put it in a bag and you can play with it with your friends. Easy, free shipping. You know, it comes right to your door in a bag. It's easy to hook up. You don't have to use any screws or anything. You just unfold it and you play. Boom, easy. Safe. You know, it's foam. It's not glass. It doesn't break. Boom, big. Featured on... CNN featured on, you know, uh, MSN.com, featured on Google, featured on Yahoo, you know, big. So, boom, that's how you, that's, um, that's it. That's your mechanism. That's how you make that mechanism work for you and you make it work for you. And, so. All right, this is episode six. Mechanisms, mechanisms, mechanisms. This this term actually came through copywriting. So it's a copywriting term, but it's universal. But through copywriting, that's that's how you that's how you get that mechanism. But imagery is copywriting as well. So here's episode six, prodigital.com. Uh, like, subscribe, download, share, or whatever. Contact us on prodigital.com. You will, we can talk through the chat on our website. So there's a chat box on our website where you can chat and tell us what type of business you want to start, and we can help you. We'll do your keyword, make sure everything that you're trying to sell is doable, and we give you your sales team. We give you your Facebook team, your Google team. We write your website titles, all your product titles, and your website titles, and then we design a website for you. And we set everything up, application, speed optimization, so you're good on Google, and we rank you on Google with your keyword. And we make sure everything is good, all your descriptions and your text is good. All right, episode six.